black lines always go on last. I have hundreds of paintings. So it's really something that's just part of me that I love to do. Linda Rosen has been painting for as long as she can remember. She even turned her basement into a studio. Once that basement was finished, I would go down there at five o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't answer the phone, nothing. I would just work. But then came the headaches. I was getting these horrible, horrible headaches for years. And then one day on the way home from, from work, I had such a bad head. I remember I could not see straight. I was just, the, the headache was excruciating. She doesn't remember what happened next. A good Samaritan called 911 after seeing Linda crash her car into a cornfield in rural New Jersey. It was November 6th, 2002. A scan at the hospital revealed a frontal lobe brain tumor. I had noticed that I was, couldn't smell anymore. And that was because the tumor was coming from my olfactory nerves. Linda was referred to Dr. Joshua Betterson, chair of the Department of Neurosurgery at the Mount Sinai Health System. I remember staring at the ceiling as they were wheeling me into the operating room and thinking, okay, now it's in the hands of God and Dr. Betterson. The hands of a skilled neurosurgeon who is also a skilled sculptor. I love to use my hands. I love things of beauty. I did take a year off from medical school to go to graduate school at NYU in sculpture. Like Linda, Dr. Betterson built a studio in his house, which is where he spends much of his time when he's not in the operating room. As you move, it almost goes from man to woman, and she starts to smile. His pieces of various shapes, sizes, and materials are scattered in and around his home, including sculptures like this one, which reflect balance. In surgery, the surgeon wants to remove the pathology until he or she exposes the beautiful anatomy of the nervous system. And in many types of sculpture, you are removing the part of the stone or the wood that is not relevant to the final shape that you have in mind. Dr. Betterson says Linda's tumor was the size of a baseball. During a surgery that lasted hours, the sculptor used his hands to save the life of the painter. When someone does something that you do also, uh, you can relate to that personally. But I think on a professional level, the connection is always there with the humanity of whoever is under the drapes. I've always been optimistic. After that, it was like I could do anything. There was no stopping. I was giving a, given another chance to really live life and do what I wanted. Linda says her art changed following surgery. She moved from muted tones to vibrant pigments. I found that I was getting more and more into color and more fun type of painting. Her work was recently displayed at the Agora Gallery in New York City's Chelsea neighborhood. Other pieces have won prizes. It's a second chance at life and art, thanks to a fellow artist with a delicate touch. And the whole experience just seems kinds of like miraculous. And I remember saying to my mother in the hospital, well, you know, what if I die from this surgery? Because you're not gonna die. Somebody's watching over you. An angel is watching you.